Okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Kelly. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Akira Arutaki, and I'm Associate uh, Senior Vice President of NEC Communication Systems in Japan. I am very pleased to have this opportunity uh, given by ITUT and MIC, and would like to say thank you to them. And this afternoon, I'm going to present what we are thinking and doing in the entire NEC group in terms of the climate change. In this presentation, I'll focus especially on how to cope with the climate change at the title of ICT strategy and uh, solutions to overcome the climate change. This is the outline of my talk. First of all, I'm going to give you some background information about climate change. Based on this background, I refer to an opinion survey in Japan to consider the direction of information and communica uh, communication technology, ICT's growth. Then, the overall strategy to cope with the climate change is presented following the growth of the direction. I'll also introduce the system model to realize the strategy. Some solution examples will be explained after that to take advantage of ICD. And finally, I'll make some uh, closing remarks at a conclusion. Okay. The climate change is not a science fiction anymore. I borrowed the right hand uh, side picture, this picture, from the University of Iowa homepage. This is from the famous movie, The Day After Tomorrow, as you may know, and will happen if the temperature con continues to rise, as is shown in the famous uh, chart in the left-hand side. Actually, the climate change has brought a huge number of damages here, there, and everywhere in the world. I borrowed the world map in, in a slide from JAXA, uh, to which the Mr. Kaji belongs to. And it shows the numerous damages in the world, such as uh, floods and tornadoes and typhoons and droughts and so on. This kind of disaster is threatening our daily life and can cause a panicky atmosphere among us. Another example is the rapid increase of the heat stroke syndrome as shown in the bar chart. According to Japan Meteorological Agency, the number of patients are more than 1,000 every year in Japan, which was almost negligibly zero, very small during the last century. It is natural observe, to observe that this increase is in response to the rapid temperature change. So, what we, needed, what we need to do now is to let the ICT be a white knight to rescue human beings from the disasters. Okay, uh, this is a typical example that a people, at least in Japan, expect the ICT to be a white knight. This bar chart is provided by MIC uh, of Japan, according to their opinion survey in Japan. The question was, what do you expect of uh, the ubiquitous network as a symbol of the ICTs? The red bars and letters represent safety and security, and the green ones uh, represent the convenience. Some around 60% Japanese uh, nominated safe and more secure life for the number one expectation here. And the third expectation um, was, uh, is quick response to disasters. In other words, these desires can be interpreted that today's network may have the disadvantage of being fragile, especially fragility of the internet. As you may know, the internet was invented as a research infrastructure and was opened for public and commercial use in 1990. 
Since then, the internet has been widely used as the, an expensive communication platform. Needless to say, it is highly appreciated for quick and flexible business operations, but at the same time, it is sometimes blamed for its fragility. As is mentioned in the pre previous slide, ICTs such as the internet need to be grow to support the communication infrastructure as a lifeline. Assuming that the ICT growth uh, contributes to construct a dependable lifeline, and actually it is reality, I am mapping some ICT solutions in the overall strategy to cope with the climate change as is shown in the slides. The vertical X here Uh, represent the emergency level, uh, ranging from the uh, first aid at a very quick uh, emergency and uh, learning and uh, enlightenment for the long-term uh, level. And the horizontal X here uh, represent the uh, activity entities, uh, individual and community, and a nation. Uh, for example, as tactics, at the right upper corner here, the national government is supported, uh, supposed to collect uh, nationwide disaster information and is, to, and is to give the right uh, publicity for prevent false rumors as quick as possible, which may cause panics. On the other hand, at the left lower corner here, the household members need to learn what kind of damages can happen to them and to plan and prepare for their evacuation. Over this strategy, I put some overs as the solution examples to show what tactics can be realized by the ICT solutions. These overs represent uh, sensor networks and the R simulator, broadband office for less mobility, locality constellation, and a system model for overall next generation network infrastructure. These solutions combine the activity of each entity. This picture shows a bird eye view of the dependable network to cope with the climate change. In the nation level, at the top here, the network uh, combines government agencies with the support of satellites. Local governments and enterprise infrastructure here are uh, connected one another. This level also in, uh, includes sensor networks, publicity, broadcasting, and so on. The individual level here is furnished with the internet, legacy public telephone networks, mobile networks, broadcasting system, and such as the access systems. The individuals are given a variety of supports through these systems, such as the disaster information, refugee and first aid information, and so on. Uh, sensing solutions are important not only for disaster predictions, but also disaster observations and damage estimation and which was partly uh, mentioned by uh, Mr. Kaji a couple of minutes ago. And uh, the Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR, is one of the most effective systems. Uh, this pictures, uh, the, these pictures show the satellite and airborne SARS. A terrestrial sensor network is another means to perform these functionalities. The environmental sensor unit with a solar power panel is shown here. The Earth simulator was the fastest supercomputer. It simulates the global level climates and the results are made great use of in the field of meteorology, agriculture, and so on. This kind of simulation is necessary to predict the climate change. When you visit NEC booth next door over there, you can get more information on it.
Another solution focuses on the digital divide prevention for rural areas. In case of disasters, urban areas may be paid attention to because of their high population density. However, this kind of unfairness can cause a serious impact to the pub public stability because of its discrimination. Fixed wireless access, uh, FWA, using such as Wi-Fi and WiMAX can solve this problem and the uh, connections among the uh, FWA and the wired network for the rural areas provide a similar services levels in the urban areas. But still, there lies an important issue on the standardization. The standards are expected for the low quality consideration to overcome the climate change without unfairness. The last example is the means for less mobility. As I mentioned earlier, the recent increase of the heat stroke disease cannot be ignored. This solution, we named it the broadband office, and provide the office workers as less movement as possible by taking advantage of ICTs, such as web-based conference, the internet video broadcasting, shared document by the sophisticated database. This solution also provides less CO2 emission. Again, the issue is the standardization. I hope that the green evaluation standards can be accelerated, the CO2 uh, reduction, and less mobility realized by this kind of green systems. At almost the end of my talk, let me introduce NEC's vision for the environmental management. We are going to provide, um, excuse me, we are going to prevent global warming by reducing NEC's overall net impacts on CO2 emission to zero by 2010, and NEC Group aims to be a truly excellent organization, one that promotes the development of so social systems, business practices, and lifestyles, and that contributes to achieving a sustainable so society by providing ICT solutions. Okay, then the conclusion. The climate change is not a science fiction anymore. ICT must be a white knight for preparation, prevention, and recovery. As I mentioned in the talk, ICT can provide useful solutions for strategic combination of nation, community, and individual activities. One future issue is the standardization activity by the ITUT for global cooperation to cope with climate change. Then, this is the final. I'm gonna give you some uh, Japanese language lesson. Okay. IT de eco, which is literally translated as ecology through IT. NEC launched the concept of uh, ecology through IT in the fiscal year of 2002, when the ICT was called just IT at the time. And we are accelerating the proliferation of specific specific actions toward environmental management, both within and outside NEC. Thank you very much for your attention.